Hello everyone, in the current session we will be discussing about non-perforated basket centrifuge and semi-continuous centrifuge. Now first coming to non-perforated basket centrifuge, coming to its principle, this is a sedimentation centrifuge. And the separation is based upon the difference in densities of solid and liquid phases without a porous barrier. This is a sedimentation centrifuge. Non-perforated basket centrifuge is a sedimentation centrifuge. The bowl contains a non-perforated side wall and during centrifugation, solid phase is retained on the sides of the basket while the liquid remains at the top, which is removed by a skimming tube. Coming to its construction, it consists of a basket which may be made of steel or any other suitable metal. And the basket is suspended on a vertical shaft and is driven by motor using a suitable power system. Now here you can see the schematic representation. This is the skimming tube. Whereas this is the liquid phase and this is the solid phase and this is the shaft to which the motor is attached. And this is the place from where the feed occurs. Now coming to the working, the suspension is fed continuously into the basket and during the centrifugation, the solid phase is retained on the sides of the basket while liquid remains on the top. The liquid is removed over a beer or through a skimming tube. When a suitable depth of solids has been deposited on the walls of the basket, the operation is stopped and the solids are then scrapped off by hand or by using the scrap of blade. Coming to the uses, non-perforated basket centrifuge is useful when deposited solids offer high resistance to the flow of liquid. In those cases, non-perforated basket centrifuge is used. Now coming to the next centrifuge, semi-continuous centrifuge. Coming to its principle, it is a filtration centrifuge. Previously, it was a sedimentation centrifuge. Now semi-continuous centrifuge is a filtration centrifuge. The separation is through perforated wall based on the difference in the densities of solids and liquid phases. The bowl contains a perforated side wall. During the centrifugation, the liquid phase passes through the perforated wall while solid phase retains in the bowl. The solid is washed and removed by cutting the sediment using a blade. It is a short cycle automatic bath centrifuge. Semi-continuous centrifuge is a short cycle automatic bag centrifuge. Coming to the construction, it consists of a vertical perforated basket which is supported from horizontal shaft driven by the motor. And from the open side of the basket, provisions are made at the center to introduce feed and wash pipe through horizontal tube. There will be a feeler and that feeler controls the thickness of the feed. Hydraulic cylinder the attachment is made in such a manner that the discharge chute enters from the sides of the basket when discharge of crystals is desired. Here you can see this is, this is the wash pipe and this is the discharge assembly and this is the basket, perforated basket. And this one is the filter medium and this is feed and this is wash pipe. Here you can collect the dry crystals. Now coming to the working. The perforated basket is allowed to rotate and slurry is introduced from the side pipe. During centrifugation, the slurry passes through the perforated wall and the solids are retained on the basket while filtrate leaves the basket which is collected at outlet. Further, the cake is washed with water. The wash escapes from the basket through the filtrate outlet. After achieving the desired thickness, that is 50 to 70 mm, the feeler cuts off the air supply to the diaphragm valve that automatically sheds off the entry of the slurry. And the hydraulic cylinder is actuated which lifts the knife along with the discharge chute. And the knife does not cut the cake completely down to the screen but leaves a layer of crystals that act as a medium for 
further separation in the next cycle. And the residual crystals may be given a brief wash before starting the next, next cycle. Through a timer and air supply mechanism, diaphragm valve controls all steps. Therefore, the entire cycle is semi-automatic and the discharged crystals may contain 2 to 4 percent of moisture. The discharged crystals con from semi-continuous centrifuge, they contain 2 to 4 percent of moisture. Coming to the advantages, it is short cycle automatic batch centrifuge and is used when solid can be drained fast from the bar. It is used when solids can be drained fast from the bond. Coming to the disadvantages, during the discharge, considerable breakdown of crystals is possible. And many moving parts are involved, making the construction and functioning complicated. By this, we complete the semi-continuous centrifuge. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on pharmaceutical sciences and other related subjects.